that's fine. Okay, any other follow-ups on the, on the Florence? Let me, just one more Florence example. The um, Donatella Della Porte, who's the lead new social movement theorist there, she has a great chapter in, a, in another book of where and how did they want to show that the uh, environmentalists were really uh, new social movements. That is, they sort of got this new message of the new, the new mayor, so it's five years later, it was a few years later, basically. Where and how did environmentalism work in Italy and based it on field work, ethnographic work in Florence? What did they find, or how did it, how did it fit what you would have expected if it were fitting the idea that this is a new issue, a new social movement, and it was not driven by the political party or by the, or the state, you would think. But the, the interesting ethnography, so I, 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 went, I flew, I went to a meeting, I, I, I arrived a couple of days earlier, I, jo I went to the meetings of the new social movement, the top, these are the top new social movement European ethnographers and theorists meeting, talking about Germany, Italy, you know, Scandinavia, etc. <coughs> um, uh, I used to go to some of these every, every year with, it, with the Europe, it was called the European Political Science, um, e ECPR, Euro European Consortium for Political Research. I went to every, every year for about 15 years. But, uh, and so I would meet with the, with the, the feminist groups. I published a paper called Femini, in, in the journal called Feminista. And I, I, did a, I did a paper called Bicycle Ethnography, okay? <laughs> We're cyclists together, okay? You can do cyclists together, and you can publish in the electronic journal called Feminista. I'm 20 years ahead of you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. So, the, the uh, and with Donatella Della Porte, what they found in their, of their ethnography was a lot of these people in different neighborhoods, they were, you know, they were rolling out, they were getting green, green containers for recycling, for putting your garbage into different, different piles, to, for et cetera, et cetera. Who were the green organizers in Florence? Was this bottom up, like the law school student at the USC? No. Many of them were city hall, political party, organizers led by the mayor secretly but it but their their hats were their outfits were green 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 so you could have so I'm showing the the, the, the follow-up point you've heard me say in other sections of the course we have these things are mixed together and so you can parade as if you're a green but you're really a um, probably Socialist Party, Socialist Party organizer, etc. And so the, the, the uh, okay. Jane Byrne paraded that she was a friend, or she, she ran, she ran for mayor. Her, her program was vote for me because the Democratic Party has failed you even though she was co-chair of the Democratic Party. There was, there was a, um, uh, a great snow, bad snow, and nobody picked up the garbage for about a week. And then this, this is called the city that works, the daily one. If the city of works can't pick up your garbage, vote them out. So they voted them out and they voted in for Jane Byrne. She was the, that was the, the most visible, important. But then, and, and so, but th so this was, I think it was during that election, it was, you know, this was a couple of weeks or months before that election, when Jane Byrne was elected, we were talk, but she was, you know, talking in, in, this, in this dinner we had with her. She was saying, you know, I destroyed the, I destroyed the independence, but she's running on independent issues. Women's issues. She, she was her. She was commissioner of consumption, which was seen as a, a, a women's. I, th I think that was her title, and and or, and it was, was sort of appealing to women, and women's kinds of issues. But 
she ended up being, well, she won, she got the votes. But then people who were in favor of these new issues felt she had sold out to the party. She'd always been the party leader. She'd been doing it for Daly. Daly said, you know, attack those independent groups. But she didn't, she didn't advertise that. So people lie. <laughs> people steal. <laughs> People used violence for thousands of years. Um, the, um, Paul Samuelson, when he gave his Nobel Prize address, I had some friends there. I was at, I was at the meeting of the American um, Economic, the Economic Association in New Orleans. Paul Samuelson was there. It was the first Nobel Prize ever given for an economist in any, anywhere. And so Samuelson said, uh, one thing was, life used to be nasty, brutish, and short. That's what Hobbes said, Thomas Hobbes. Therefore, we need the Leviathan. Today is different. Life is nasty, short, na nasty, brutish, and long. Okay. I'll end it there. <coughs>